at 18.7 trillion kilometers wide, and 4.6 billion years old, our solar neighborhood is a vast and mysterious place. And even though most of it is empty space, it is actually home to one star, eight planets, five dwarf planets, 181 moons, 566,000 asteroids, and 3,100 comets and counting. Today, we are going to take a closer look at some of those features, as we present the Space Junkies list of the solar system's 10 most mind-blowing facts. Neptune's tempestuous climate sees high-altitude winds exceeding 1,100 miles per hour. That's seven times faster than a Category 5 hurricane on Earth. This time-lapse footage taken by Voyager 2 shows colossal storms moving at different speeds eastward and westward. It might seem hard to believe, but it actually does rain diamonds on Jupiter. According to research, lightning storms are so intense on the planet that they turn methane gas into carbon in the form of soot, which hardens under the immense gravitational pressure as it falls towards the planet's dense core, forming into chunks of diamond, some of which are a centimeter in diameter. Solar eclipses are a rarity in the universe, and that's because they are the result of an astounding mathematical coincidence. Whilst the diameter of the Sun is 400 times that of the Moon, incredibly it is also 400 times farther away. This means that both objects appear the same size from Earth, which allows the mesmerizing alignment of the two. It's such a rare phenomenon that Earth could theoretically be a vacation hotspot for interstellar alien travelers, who would undoubtedly travel light years to witness the miraculous event. Comprised mostly of water ice, Saturn's rings span a gargantuan 120,700 kilometers. That's more than 21 times the diameter of Earth. But incredibly, they are as thin as 9 meters. Relatively speaking, that's thinner than a sheet of A4 paper. The rings are so thin, that despite their colossal size, and with a surface area 80 times that of Earth, our home planet is approximately 200,000 times as massive. Jupiter's moon Europa could be home to alien life. Smaller than our moon, Europa is constantly being stretched and squeezed by its home planet's immense gravitational pull, known as tidal flexing. This causes the core to become molten, and so NASA believes that beneath its frozen surface, an ocean of liquid water is likely warmed by hydrothermal vents and underwater geysers. On Earth, features such as these usually support rich and diverse ecosystems. Despite being the second largest planet in the solar system, and 95 times more massive than Earth, Saturn would theoretically float in water. Hypothetically, let's say you had a large enough container of water, Saturn would indeed stay afloat at the surface. And that's because, despite occupying a volume 766 times that of Earth, it actually has the lowest density of all of the planets. Just 12% of the density of Earth, and less dense than water in fact, hence its potential buoyancy. Though the source of the color actually remains unknown, the massive storm's crimson-colored clouds spin counterclockwise at speeds that exceed 400 miles per hour, and the vortex is bigger than Earth itself, at over 16,000 kilometers across. The red spot is legendary in part because humans have observed it for more than 150 years, but it may have been raging for more than 350. Home to almost 8 billion people, the Earth might seem like a big place at times. 
but it is nothing compared to our host star. 99.86% of the entire solar system's mass is actually the Sun itself, meaning the remaining 0.14% is all of the planets, exoplanets, moons, asteroids, comets and gas combined. Amazingly, you could fit 1.3 million Earths inside the Sun. Venus has a thick toxic atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide, and it's perpetually shrouded in dense yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid that traps heat, causing a runaway greenhouse effect. It's the hottest planet in our solar system, even though Mercury is closer to the Sun. Surface temperatures on Venus are about 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 475 degrees Celsius, so hot that lead would melt into puddles on its surface. Venus is unusual because it spins in the opposite direction of Earth and most other planets. And its rotation is very very slow. It takes about 243 Earth days to spin around its axis just once. Because it's so close to the Sun, a year goes by quickly, taking 225 Earth days for Venus to go all the way around the Sun. That means that a day on Venus is a little longer than a year there. Since the day and year lengths are similar, one day on Venus is not like a day on Earth. Here the Sun rises and sets once each day. But on Venus, the Sun rises every 117 Earth days. That means the Sun rises two times during each year on Venus, even though it is still the same day there. And because Venus rotates backwards, the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Thanks so much for tuning into Space Junkies. Don't forget to subscribe for more incredible space videos. See you next time.